Hey YouTube, I uh, got a new tank for Christmas. It's a 30 gallon. It's a long, not a 29 tall. Uh, I wanted the extra surface area on the bottom to play with. Not a whole lot to say about it yet. It's got some stuff. Uh, my parents got it for me for Christmas, and uh, my mom sent me these ceramic, like little shrimp hideouts. I'm going to be growing my cherry shrimp in here, just like in my other tanks. Uh, she also sent what I think is some anacris. It's planted in the back there. I know it's hard to see. It's behind the crypts. Uh, I'm excited to watch this plant grow because I don't really know what it is. I think it's anacris at this point. But we'll see. I also thought Mondo grass was Valisneria nana, so back in some of my initial videos. In the middle and on the two sides are stands of Crypt Wenty. Um, this is my first time using the substrate fluorite. I got fluorite dark because I wanted it to be just a little bit darker. I'm really happy with how it came out. It's a little red but not too red. I think it looks really natural and the natural contrast and it's really cool especially with the, the geode here the lava rock kind of blends in it looks like they're from the same thing and this driftwood with the moss contrasts nicely behind the lava rock I have over here it's got a couple of caves in it for the shrimp but on top of it I have some wisteria uh, this is one of my favorite plants. It grows so fast, and uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. I just planted this on Thursday, and I don't know if you can catch the... Yeah, there's a little bud right there growing off. That's going to turn into a whole other stalk coming off and go up to the top of the water here. Um, I planted three separate stalks, and there's small nodes on all of them prepping to grow. It only took... A day for that to show up that was there yesterday and the day before and it's just now starting to show some separation from the plant so it's a lot of fun to watch the other thing that was really cool is the crypts especially this stand right here you can see how they're all angled upwards at the light all of the crypt leaves turn themselves to face the light with the broad face of the leaf within about 48 hours even this stand did it to some degree. Most of these crypts were kind of laying down when I planted them, and they recovered, and they all faced the light very quickly. So there's not a whole lot of interesting stuff in here yet. I'm just waiting for it to start cycling. I took half the media from each of my previous tanks, uh, which are still going and uh, put that in here so that I had some live bacteria already. I did water changes on the eight gallon and the five gallon and put the dirty water in here so that I had a lot of bacteria and some of the detritus worms would be seeded into this tank because those things are great when you have plants. The heater is a 100 watt heater which is overkill for a 30 gallon but this was a Craigslist tank. We water tested it and cleaned it really well. That heater came with it, and I was pretty stoked. It's a it's a nice heater. It also came with a AquaClear 50 hang on back. Back here, I have that packed with the uh, sponge that comes with it. And then a bunch of biomedia and then Puragen sitting on top. I've had really good experience with Puragen. Uh, during the initial two or three days running, this tank was pretty cloudy. I washed the fluorite, but it wound up being cloudy. So I had a finer sponge in the filter to kind of pre-filter all the silt out. But it's since cleared up. You can see it's still a little cloudy, but it's not that bad. So I think I'm going to put some cherry shrimp in here. I'm going to put my honey garami, probably breed honey garamis in this tank. Uh, try to make a little bit of money back on the hobby. Same thing with the shrimp. 
I'm thinking I might put a pearl gourami in here as a centerpiece fish. I really like them, and I hear they behave nice with uh, shrimp and things, depending on their temperament. I think I might have a school of neon tetras, or I'd like to have a couple of schools of fish, like two ten fish schools, and then three honey gouramis, and then whatever my centerpiece fish is. I'm thinking a pearl gourami right now. I'm not sure exactly what schooling fish I want. I think I want the splash of blue that the neons provide, and I haven't quite decided on my other schooling fish. So if anybody has some really colorful, interesting schooling fish that would play nice with shrimp, go ahead and suggest them in the comments below. I'm going to be replacing the light soon. It came with a, a T8. I'm going to be getting a, a LED fixture and put on top. It's going to be a slim line. I think it's going to be the uh, Finex LED light. Since this tank was a gift, I can spend a little bit more money and get a nicer light on it. But I'm really excited to see how this tank develops in the next two months or so as it matures and I can start stocking it. But I wanted to take a video. I took some pictures of setting up also, but it wasn't too glamorous. So I don't think I'm including those in the video. Alright, I'm running a little long, so thanks for watching YouTube.